Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whoever you are, wherever you're from, welcome back to Artisan Electrics and thanks for choosing to watch a bunch of electricians instead of watching the junk that's on TV. Today we are installing an electric vehicle charging point for a BMW i3, aren't we Corey? Yep. And it's a bit of a different one today, it's a zappy, because you know how we love the zappies, but it's going to be Corey's first kind of full install of the zappy. I've done all the training, so now it's the real on-site experience of how it works in real life. So that I'm going to get Corey working on that. I'm changing the consumer unit inside. That might be another video. Um, but we're using the EV Ultra cable today. So I'll show you that. It's a real thick, chunky one because it's the one with the Cat5 in. So it's a 6mm SWA and it's got a Cat5 data cable in. The reason being is that the consumer unit is there and the charger is going to be in the garden over there it's quite a far distance and we were worried about the signal not reaching so the cable is going to come out of the consumer unit down the wall along the wall here and then the customer has very kindly dug a trench as you can see down here under the step and he's put a about 50 mil um, pipe in that we can run the cable in the trench is still open anyway so you can check everything but he's run it in a really nice smooth bend through the garden so I'll show you that so it comes here under the fence in a lovely smooth swooping bend around here so as you can see lovely smooth swooping bend with this uh, pipe along and then he's even made a nice special mounting plate for us with this wooden post which has also got a concrete post behind it he's even made a special little back plate for the zappy with bolts to bolt it on in the exact position where the fixings are so this is the kind of customer that we love uh, attention his attention to detail and his preparation work will make our job a lot easier and um, it will result in a higher quality job so should be nicer so what we'll do is get the cable pulled in first I just want to make sure it's long enough because I bought 20 meters and I'm slightly worried that it's going to be a meter short but um, the customer assures me it'll be fine so we shall see. Let's get into it. I think you're just at this corner. Yeah, do you? Yeah. No, we must be further than that, surely. I think we're nearly there, to be honest. I think we're nearly. Look around. It's, it feels like it's stuck now, so it might have, it might have come out of the other end now. The uh, string snap. <laughs> right, so that's the cable now coming up out of the duct, running along behind the various pipes and things. And we'll just clip it neatly along the wall. Bring it to go around. Big enough to get the cable. That pipe there and then up and our consumer unit's up here somewhere so hopefully we can just go straight into the back of the consumer unit and uh, we'll be all good might have to put a junction box here to split off the cat 5 so that we can go into there with the cat 5 for the cts and then run an additional cable up and in for the charging circuit maybe Now is about the right time to cue like the French culinary show music. You know, the violin sounds and whatever. This is some lunch, which I'm having a bite of now. And uh, it's corn chicken nuggets, crispy chicken nuggets. And they are some of my favorite because um, they don't hurt any chickens and they're tasty. But, mm -mm -mm. Now this is going to be fiddly because um, I've got quite a long length and I've got to strip it back so that 
the Cat5 cable that's inside this special armoured um, EV Ultra cable it goes inside here because we're going to have some CTs which are going to clamp on uh, to the tails for the My Energy system but the actual power cable we want to stop there and uh, bring up so probably be a little bit fiddly just think I'll probably start by putting the box on There's nothing worse than a loose boot. Um, so the method I'd usually use to get the boot tight is to spin it around that way, offer it on. This is a CW25 gland. And just give it a little twist. And what that does is it makes a little indentation, which you can then just grab, grab your uh, cutters. The uh, Nipex scissors and snip off, and then that is one nice tight boot. How old are you, Jordan? Yeah, he was doing electrics <laughs> while I was. Why do you want to know how old I am? Oh, no, no it's, reason. You know it's disrespectful to ask <laughs> old people how old they are. Been doing electrics since probably before I was born, so I'll let him off. Well, he should let me off, rather, I should say. He's uh, smooth draw grips again. So obviously, not. Not chafing up the thing, it's just easier. Um, obviously, if you're in a factory or something, it's no big deal having a big bag of spanners. Whereas when you're working out of um, out of a smaller tool bag, you don't want to be carrying tons of spanners with you. Obviously, this has loads of different sizes on it, and it's the same really. And a lot of people don't like them, but I think if you've got a smooth drawer, it's not making any difference. going to nick up the cable again for everyone to come on it was not even nicked it was just dust <laughs> savages So that cable is all connected up. It's uh, just clipped along the fence, and then obviously in this box here it splits out. So you've got the power going up and uh, into the consumer unit on the other side of that wall, and then the data cable pops just up through there. So I'm going to seal this off with a uh, stuffing gland and a bit of silicon just there. I don't know if you can see that, but <clears throat> I've just popped it outside of the, uh, you know, the rubber material that's um, that's there for you to poke through. One of these little penetrations. I'm just poking out one of those. So I'm just going to get a bit of silicon and silicon around that. Put the uh, stuffing gland on there and then that should be all ready to wire up. Right, so I've got this all wired up and second fix now as well. Just going into this box here, 607 box, and basically I've got the um, armoured cable terminated here, and then it goes in an NYJ 
up to the consumer unit and then the data cable pops just out the little rubber bit there and pokes into the meter cupboard there where it's going to be sealed off probably with the stuffing gland um, and just some silicon around around the top there and then that basically that cat5 will um, be for the cts um, for the current transformers for the my energy system so yeah cracking on thinking for this this cable is my least favorite cable it's just so hard to work with especially when it's cold it's really brittle cable is an absolute pig to strip it's just so brittle it's not a normal armored cable it's the uh, special EV cable but I've got to say I'm just not a fan Show us what you've done today. Right, so uh, got that armored cable with the Cat5 in it. I'll send that. Do you have the, uh, well, I've got a meter key. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, that's the piece de la resistance. Yeah. There you go. So, inside this box, what I've done is I've separated the power cables. Um, so, the power cables come into this. Um, out in this NYJ cable which goes up and then pokes into the house just there into the back of the consumer unit and then I've separated off the cat5 from out of the inside of this cable um, and that goes into this Wago box here with the spare cores coiled up so we've got four spare cores there in case they ever want any um, you know renewable energy sources like I don't know if they put a solar meter in here or anything like that then they're covered um, and then that cable, I don't know if they can see it, just goes up to the CT there. And uh, yeah, that obviously is now working with the My Energy app and everything. At the other end. So it nips down into the ground there, the warning tape and everything. It is so cold. Ooh. Right, <clears throat> so it pops up under there. I've taken it underneath the wooden post and then I've cleated it up this side here and then I've put the armoured cable gland on there and it just pops into the back um, and then inside there, obviously then it's connected up and the Cat5 cable um, just connects onto the CT terminal in there. So we've actually hardwired it. We've not used the... Um, Harvey. Looks awesome. A nice job well done. Cheers. Nice little install. We had a bit of a um, a bit of a faff getting the, uh, the actual hub to find an IP address and uh, link up but it's actually a faulty hub so my yeah. energy is sorting that out but as soon as that's um, sent over here we'll pop back and you know link it all up to the app and get everything sorted. Time to go home? Yeah. <laughs> I can't actually see where the camera is, but I'm freezing, <laughs> so I'm just going to say bye. <laughs>